I still needed healing and loving myself to prioritize myself. Yo, sheesh. And before we jump in this video, can I see Happy New Year's in the comment section? Happy New Year 2022. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what up? Happy New Year's. Hey, it's Cash. I'm bringing you a new YouTube video. Since it's a new year, I definitely want to talk to you all about like some New Year's resolutions, some life changing tips, some advice that I've just been able to process just over these years of life and just share that with you. So with that being said, I'm going to take you along to some of the places I'm hitting up today. And as we migrate to these locations, we're going to talk about everything that's going on at the same time. So let's keep going. Let's get right into that. Yo, we're back. Check this out, man. Happy New Year, it's 2022. I can't believe it. I'm sure you can't believe it because it's been a crazy last two to three years, just everything going on in life, but we're still here. You know, I hope you guys have been writing out your goals or what you want to see accomplished in this new year. For those who watched my previous video, I want to say thanks for tuning in and being a part of the FAQ. Definitely answered a lot of questions for you all. It's a lot of positive feedback that I received on that video. So I just want to say I appreciate the community that's growing. I can't believe the growth that's been happening on the YouTube channel as late. In return for that growth, I just want to be able to bring you guys some value and something that you can apply in your life and just be the best version of yourself. So let's keep things moving here. Yeah, so a few things I need to go do. First, I need to eat. Everybody needs to eat. So I don't know if you're hungry, but we're about to go grab some food. We can talk at the restaurant. Let's go eat. I uh, made it to be good food with roots. I got a Southwest, some type of Southwest bowl. Let's check this out real quick. Yeah, so this is going down real quick. Let me bless my food real quick. So today we're going to be talking about how to find your purpose. I think that's a big topic for a lot of people. It's definitely an open-ended question where you can spend hours, weeks, months, just trying to figure that out for some people, even years. I know I have some answers that'll be able to provide some clarity, some insight for you all to take in your daily lives and apply that moving forward. So let's get into that. How y'all feel about that? If y'all ready for that, let's get into that. So a few things that comes to my mind when you're searching for your purpose is you have to find meaning in what you do. You also have to reflect on your strength that people have acknowledged within you as well and I guess what I mean by that is reflect on the moments where your peers or your family have acknowledged your strengths because they see something in you that maybe you haven't recognized yet and you haven't decided to share with the world that's one area of opportunity where you can explore and get feedback from your peers and family and just ask them what do you see in me that you believe I could do consistently and effectively so to give you an example some frequent statements that's been said about me is that I've been a good communicator. I actively listen to people when they're speaking. I provide feedback with substance. So the meaning that I have found with that feedback that's been provided is that I have this opportunity to provide encouragement and uplift others through my words, through providing them proper feedback and helping them move through challenging moments of life through encouragement, with motivation, putting a high emphasis on those characteristics that sometimes we all need in life. And so I'm really excited that people have acknowledged that and seen that skill set within me. And I feel like that's something I can definitely bring to the channel and share with you all as we decide to move forward and grow this channel together. As I was writing out this list, I was taking in consideration that everyone's life isn't the same. Some of us have more moments of quietness and stillness where we can evaluate what our purpose should be and what we want it to be. And others, unfortunately, don't have that same luxury. So the question that I wrote out that I need to overcome for us all is how to get into a sense of abundance and a reality of chaos. And the reason why I put the word abundance is because when we think about our purpose, we should be thinking about that abundantly. Here's what I wrote out for that. Healthy boundaries and organization is so essential when you're seeking abundance in your life. You know, that's one thing I can't stress enough, even if it's organized chaos. And what I mean by that is everyone else in the world can think that there's no structure in what you're doing, 
but as long as you understand what's happening that's organized for you the perception is that it's chaotic but you have to understand and be aware of your stability in those environments to follow up with that we have to be comfortable with setting up boundaries when we come across clutter distractions and even when we're overextending our time and energy that's something I struggle with, overextending my time and energy into others. And uh, it's been that way for a while and I'm just being open enough to let you guys know like I struggle with these things too. Especially when you're not in a place to do so. So I would recommend that you protect your energy because people will drain you unfortunately, pulling you into different directions and areas where you're no longer in alignment with your core values. So as we move forward with this new year, we need to come up with a personal statement that strikes us to the core and it reminds us of why we are moving forward closer and closer to this purpose that we have landed upon. And if you still haven't found your purpose, don't worry, like it takes time. So my personal statement that really registers to me is making acts of kindness go viral. So whether that's through social media, whether that's through any type of books, whether that's through any type of media outlet, TV shows, to me, acts of kindness is so needed in the world today to inspire others to put out that same type of energy. And it starts with one person leading the way in that. For me, I think there's so many relationships that could be healed through acts of kindness. So many families that could be healed through acts of kindness. The way we perceive other nationalities could be changed through acts of kindness. I mean, there's a whole list that's just gonna unlock by doing this one thing. And that's something that sticks out to me. All right, so we just got through finishing up at Be Good, which is over there. And now we're gonna head to our next spot to finish up the rest of the video. So come with me, let's get it going. So what I've learned so far in finding my purpose, you know, some of us were born knowing our purpose. Some of us found it through experimenting through different sports and different activities. Some of us, you know, it takes us a little bit longer to figure out what our purpose actually is. No matter where you fall and all of that, just know that it's okay because we're all unique and different. And I think it's really easy for us to get caught up in judging what season of life that we're in because we see so many different other people progressing and moving forward forward because they've identified you know what excites them in life and you know they'll say that that's their purpose or that's their gift that's their calling and it's easy to find yourself in a place being envious or jealous of that but one thing i would recommend for all of us to do is be happy for those people you know you have to celebrate others finding themselves because one day that'll be you and you have to hold on to that belief that that'll be you as well you know celebrate your peers victories celebrate your family's victories celebrate your friends it's something that is extremely healthy to do celebrate your people you know the biggest thing that you can take away from that is enjoying the journey of it all because the journey is what's going to challenge you the most and build you up the most and when you reflect on your journey once you've arrived to your destination you know whether that is you finding your purpose or finding fulfillment in life once you arrive to that pinnacle point you're going to reflect back on all the moments that you've been through to help you arrive to this point and that's the journey in itself so you're going to reflect on how many people you have to overcome how many limiting beliefs you have to overcome how many environments where you weren't being acknowledged and taken advantage of you're going to reflect on all of these situations and that's going to help you see the strength that you've had to endure over these years to come in a place where you can be proud of who you are today clearly you just have to trust the process and know that you're walking by faith holding on to your belief that you're going to arrive at a destination that lights you up that excites you that fulfills you and just know that your your moment is coming. You have to hold on to that, no matter what the circumstances is. There's many phases of life that'll try to break you, that'll try to make you question yourself. But you gotta hold on to what you know is true to you. And if you don't know what's true to you, you better take some time to self-reflect, look yourself in the mirror, and ask those questions that make you understand who you are and who you're becoming. You know, interesting enough to me, once you feel like you've tapped into that purpose, I really believe your purpose will protect you from so many different scenarios that could happen in your life because you're standing firm in your truth. You're standing firm in what you're called to be. And through all of that, no one's going to be able to do this better than you because this calling is specifically for you. So make sure you set out some time, some specific time 
This has to be a boundary. You gotta set a specific time in your schedule and in your routine to say, this is dedicated to me discovering more about myself so you can find yourself. And you don't have to be second guessing your actions and your intentions and your motives. You know yourself truly for who you are. Block out time for that because you deserve that. This is a part of self-care more than anything. And we're gonna get into that. Um, we're, I'm gonna take you to the next location. I think I'm gonna swing by Whole Foods. I need to get some greens because I want to make a green juice or I want to make like a watermelon beet type juice. I haven't had juice in a long time. So let's see how this goes. We're about to get into that. Let's turn some music up real quick. Let's wrap this video up here. A few last things I wanna talk about when we're looking at life changing tips and advice, right? Let's talk about this. Is establishing a routine. Some of you may already have a routine and it may need to be tweaked. Some of us may need to create a new routine. So for me, a routine starts with your mindset. I truly believe that your mindset impacts your routine and therefore what you visualize about yourselves mentally is what you're going to create in the world around you. And that is a serious statement. I heard another author state this and I wish I could give credit to who came up with this. I can't remember their name at the moment, but she said, your life is a physical manifestation of the conversation that you have in your head. I'm gonna take the glasses off for that. Your life is a physical manifestation of the conversation that you have in your head. That's crazy. You know, for me personally, I had to get clear on my routine that I'm creating right now for myself. I'm a person of rhythm. My life flows a million times better when there's a rhythm and a pacing to life. So I had to ask myself, what's gonna allow me to start the day off and being in the best mindset, being the best representation of myself to fulfill the things I wanna achieve in life, especially as we talk about topics as finding your purpose. So, um, with me being back in Houston for the moment, it's given me a lot of time to just get clear on what a healthy routine looks like for myself. So therefore, when I step out into the world, I can go ahead and put out the best version of myself that sets me on fire and is contagious to other people in the aspect of bringing them excitement and joy and also fulfillment to myself as well. And I'm gonna dive in deeper about that in a later video, but I think it's in the right context for this video today. This is how I know that this step is highly critical and important. Have you ever been in a position where you have your routine and you feel that momentum building? You're having success on success on success with you accomplishing your day, checking off your to-do list, and then one day something out of the ordinary disrupts your flow. And what type of reaction do you have? How do you respond to that? I know for myself personally, I don't respond the best to that. I'm a person of patterns that I enjoy. So when I get disrupted out of that moments of joy, like I'm not in the best state to be around when it comes to my routine being messed up because it's something that I value tremendously. Let me know if you relate in the comments. Let me know if you have a story to tell that is similar to mine when your routine gets disrupted and now your whole day is just shot because now you're out of your flow state. I'm definitely referring to those moments where it's an important person in your life, family members, friends, and you're just gonna make the sacrificial play to try to meet their needs in that moment. So with all that being stated, now we have to think about of a system of success, having macro and micro goals to achieve the things we wanna accomplish. So therefore, when we look at our annual goals for the year, we'll know for a fact that we're on pace to hit that in October, November, and December because we have our monthly milestones in check to know that we're on pace. And if you don't know if you're on pace, how do you know if you're gonna finish your timing on schedule, your to-do list on schedule? These things matter when you're looking at a bigger picture of these bigger goals that we have up here. You know, what's the in-between goals to get us to that? 
So for me, something is easily stating like, if I wanted to upload a minimum of 52 videos this year, I know for a fact, if I miss one week of uploading, I'm off my pace. So therefore, there's not gonna be any surprise when it comes to the fourth quarter, how is my pacing to hit this annual goal? So I have my monthly goal to remind me of the pacing to hit my annual goal. And now once you have all of this in place, I feel like the most important thing here is to remember to implement self-care. You know, self-care can fall under a lot of different categories, meditation, self-hygiene, journaling, but for me specifically, and I think this will register with a lot of people, self-care in this category to me highlights the importance of prioritizing yourself to unlock the things you seek in life. Because once you tap into that purpose, you're gonna have to tap into the routine and you're gonna have to tap into that system of success, which means in those three categories, you need to prioritize yourself in a way not to be perceived as being selfish, but understanding that this matters so much to you that you have created these healthy boundaries, you've created these time blocks where you can actually implement and achieve these things that you're pursuing. Um, for me, that's something I struggle with for a long time. Like I would always overextend myself to help accommodate others in the things that they wanted to pursue and create in life. It's almost as if my body language or my mentality was still saying that I still needed healing and loving myself to prioritize myself. Sheesh. I don't know who can relate to that, but if you can relate to that, let me know in the comment section. If that's something you struggle with right now, I need you to say that to yourself. I need you to believe that yourself, hold on to that and work through that. Like it's okay to be able to acknowledge our shortcomings in the areas that we need growth in. Release it, vocalize it so it no longer has control over you. And when it doesn't have control anymore, you go 110% in unlocking yourself. You already know the vibes. You already know why we're here. So I know I said a lot today, but I think there's a lot of knowledge and value. You're probably saying, I got so much information and I wanna implement it and apply it, but I'm too scared to move forward because what if I fail? What if I fail in trying to find my purpose? And this is my answer to that question. The best thing about failing is that there's knowledge and experience that comes from that loss, from that failure, from the embarrassment. It takes courage to be able to try things and take risks, even if you succeed, even if you fail. I've always believed you learn more from your losses than you do from your wins. If, you, if you're willing to reflect on why you failed, that gives you growth in areas that you may not have been strong enough to succeed in. So when you try again the second time around, third time around, fourth time around, you have the confidence to know that I'm much stronger in this area to overcome this obstacle. Truthfully, the only way you can say you failed at something is when you stop trying to move through what you're pursuing. Life is about adapting yourself, reinventing yourself, and being at peace amongst that process. The one thing I want you to take from this video is that there's no limit to how many success stories can happen in life. You gotta tell yourself if they're capable of doing it, I'm just as capable. If they're thriving in a specific market, why can't you thrive? You're just as capable. If they're talented at culinary arts and crafts, and that's your market, that's your niche, you're just as talented. Put in the work, put in the time. You know, it reminds me of this book by Malcolm Gladwell talking about the 10,000 hour rule. Some of us haven't put in enough hours. Like, so if you made it to this part of the video, I just wanna say thank you for watching it all the way through. I really appreciate your time that you're pouring into me. I hope my words has resonated with your heart, your peers, your family, your loved ones. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up in this video and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I got more videos on the way. We're turning all the way up this year and I'm just excited to bring you guys along for the journey. If you wanna see any other videos, if you have any other ideas of what type of videos you would like for me to make, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, we got this. Don't get it I wouldn't even think, you see I've been like setting this stuff up because I'm yeah. making a YouTube video. So I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm just like, I'm so hungry right now. Um, Freshly made, spicy, and large. Oh my I'm god, tired. let's. Roasted veggies. Let's go. Crunchy, <laughs> crunchy.
Right. Appreciate this. Let's get out of here, man. You know the vibes. Whoa!